What is going on here with YouTube? My name is Speaker Yo. Welcome back to another differentials. Now I do apologise for the day late. I've just ran out of time in recent few days, and I've also had things going on elsewhere from YouTube, which you know you'll learn about in the next few days. Well, not learn about why, but learn about why I haven't busted the gut to upload this. But anyway, here are my eight players that I believe are going to be differentials this week, and we're going to start off with a goalkeeper. And the goalkeeper I'm going with this week is Mr. Stekellenberg from Everton. Valued at 5 billion and also a keeper that I told you about last week. He failed to get clean sheet though against West Brom. He has got a nice home game against Stoke. Now I believe Everton could really play a good game against Stoke if they get their three top defenders fit in Williams, Funes, Mori and Jagielka. They could really be a force to be reckoned with. As well as that, you look at their next four games after that. You've got Sunderland away, Middlesbrough at home, Bournemouth away and Crystal Palace at home. So when it comes down to a differential, Stekelenburg really could bring you home a few points that not many people got elsewhere because he's owned by 1.9% of people. So I'd say he's definitely one to consider. And next up, we've got Arsenal defender Lauren Koscielny, valued at £6 million, and has got a nice and tidy home game, or away game, sorry, against Watford to deal with this week. Now, Watford have been a good star start in the Premier League, failing to win yet, but looking good nonetheless. But I feel like Arsenal will have enough to quash, I suppose, um, the Watford threat, as in Kapue has been the only player to score. And Koscielny looks really, really good organising the defence against Leicester. As well as that, they've got home game against Southampton, away game against Hull, home game against Chelsea, and away game against Bournemouth to consider after the Watford game. Owned by 4.2% of people, you'd be mad not to go for him. Next up, we've got Tottenham defender Vertonghen. Valued at £5.5 .5 million, pounds, owned by 3.2% of people, he's definitely one to look out for. Now, they have got home game against Liverpool. And this is dividing opinion. Some people are saying it's going to be the typical Spurs 1-2-0. Very, very good. But also, also if people are saying Liverpool are going to score quite a few goals. I'm on the side of they might be quashed. They might not. Hence why it's the reason it's on the differentials part of the um, videos. Home against Liverpool, though, looks to be good. Then they've got away against Stoke. Home against Sunderland. Away against Middlesbrough. And then away against Manchester City. Definitely one to look out for. It's uh, not been a good game to play, but I'm looking at Tottenham, I'm seeing them looking good, and owned by 3.2% of people, if you get a clean sheet, you know, you're going to be one of a few that had a tongue in. Next up, we've got one of the biggest risks on here, which is Crystal Palace midfielder Wilfred Zaha, valued at £5.5 million, he's owned by just 2% of people on FPL. Now, this is a risk, why? Well, let me get into it. Zaha is linked with a move to Tottenham, and Tottenham have reportedly sent in an official bid for Zaha, so that could leave him in a very sticky situation. However, he's only got one point in each of his first two games, so it doesn't look too good, but a home against Bournemouth, if he does play, could be a game where he finally unleashes what we all know he can do, which is a lot of skill, and considering if he doesn't want to chop inside every now and again, he can cross it in towards the dangerous Benteke. I'm looking at him probably having a very good game week if he starts. After that, he's got away against Middlesbrough, home against Stoke, away against Sunderland, and away against Everton. So it's always going to be looking good for him, for me. He's always going to be looking like he could have a really, really good game week, but if he does get dropped for Spurs, I'm just saying I warned you because that is also a possibility. Next up, we've got another midfielder, and the team's already covered. Everton, because it's Kevin Morales that's up next. £6.5 million pounds is his price, owned by 3.2% of people, and gathered up the most on this list so far, 13 points. And he has a home game against Stoke, I'll reiterate against De Kellenberg. Muralas looks good. He's only two points behind Barkley, who everyone is putting in, forgetting that there's another player that's also had a goal and assist in his first two games, and that comes in the form of Kevin Muralas. And I feel like he could be a player to break down Stoke. Now, I think the people, thing people are... Um, you know, worrying about is because Balassi, you know, Lennon, and if they got the car up front, they'll have fame with ever back. But Morales is in form, he looks good, so I don't think he'll be dropped. However, there's always that risk there, and I've got to reiterate all these players on here are always a risk because they are differentials. But Morales, of course, after that, he's got the Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Bournemouth, and Crystal Palace game, so if he is a starter, continues to play well, he could have an absolute fantastic five upcoming game weeks. 
Next up, we've got Tadish for Southampton, valued at £7.4 million, and owned by just 4.5% of people. Now, I talked about him in game week one, he was owned by 5.2% of people, so not gone down that much, to be honest, but he has a home game at Sunderland, and if there's any game where he will step up, it is this game. After that, he's got Arsenal, Swansea, West Ham and Leicester, so arguably tough games, but if you're looking at those games as a, they need a player to unlock the defences, Tadish will be the one. Next up, we've got another huge risk in Downing from Middlesbrough. £5.5 million, pounds, owned by just 1.1% of people. Now, Downing is a risk because at the same price, we've also got Gaston Ramirez, who has also picked up an assist. But, I believe it could be Downing's turn to play the sister, I suppose. Um, he's only got three points so far, but they've got an away game against Watford. Only him and Koscielny on this list have away games. But Watford, um, against West Brom, sorry. But... The way I see Downing playing is, of course, getting the crosses in, and Alvaro Agredo has been really, really dangerous so far, grabbing a goal, grabbing two assists. I feel like Negredo could add to his tally, however, he's owned by over 20 percent of people, so it's not a differential, but West Brom it shall be, and away from home, Downing could really, really reap the rewards of playing against a rather tight-neck, rigid Tony Pulis team. And lastly, the only striker on the list is Christian Benteke, the dangerous Benteke for Crystal Palace at £7.4 million. He's owned by just 2.8% of people. Now, of course, he's yet to play, so he's got no points. But it's worth noting Benteke when he plays, and people play to his advantage, which is a crossing game of your ball up to him. He is lethal. He's shown that. He scored one of Liverpool's top scorers last season. He's been top scorer everywhere else he's got in the Premier League, i.e. Aston Villa as well. So he's looking really good. Home limits Bournemouth. If they can get the balls into him, he will score the goals. There's no doubt about that. With Middlesbrough, Stoke, Sunderland and Everton all coming up, especially Everton as their defence is really small, you're looking at Benteke could really pile drive his way into the scoring books. And only by just 2.8% of, uh, of people, he's definitely that differential you're looking for. And that is that for this video, hopefully you have enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe, apologies for no face cam, it's just really hot, I'm not wearing a shirt and I don't feel too well, all those ideas together means no face cam, but thank you for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed and peace.